So I want to introduce you to a new concept uh, that has to do with how you put content into a, a Chisimba uh, course or any of the content tools in Chisimba or the communication tools for that matter. The approach that I'm going to teach you or show you has it's the same effect in every ch tool in Chisimba. So let's go to my courses and let's go into the introduction to e-learning course that we created and let's go to the course content ignoring everything else for the time being and here you can see we have some contents that we created the other day um, and some additional ones that I ha have myself added in playing around now let's just go and add some more uh, another content page uh, to work from and so we'll go to this chapter and um, in fact, let's just edit this page and we're going to just delete the bit that I uh, that I put in there the other day and show you how filters work <coughs> now filters are simple strings of text that when displayed to the user the, the, the simple strings of text are replaced with content that are defined by those strings so let us imagine for example that we want to do something like insert an image from a site such as Flickr. Now I'm a keen amateur photographer and I do a lot of uh, photography including underwater photography. Um, spent Christmas at uh, Pontedora in Mozambique with my daughter who is in this picture uh, diving with a turtle. So let's imagine that we were doing something and we wanted to teach people about turtles or diving or anything where this image would be useful. So we go up to the um, to the address bar in the browser and you can see that there's a URL with a lot of stuff after it which we don't need which points to that image. So we take that part of the URL and we go back here. Now we're going to use a filter called Quick Embed. Quick Embed is a wrapper for the OEmbed protocol, which allows content from a whole lot of different sites, ranging from Flickr to YouTube to Wikipedia, etc., to be inserted as content uh, in a page. And the way you do filters in Chisimba is all the filters start with a square bracket, and they end with a closing square bracket. I don't know if you can see that, so let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, so they start with a, oops, sorry, I moved that. We start, they start with a square bracket and they end with a square bracket. Sometimes there are two opening and closing sets of square brackets together. The one that we're going to use, quick embed, we just need one set. So we type the word quick embed, colon, and then we paste the URL uh, of the object that we want to be inserted. Now there are lots of other ways that you could do this. You could go in and write an image tag. You could insert an image. Um, there are a number of ways in which you could uh, insert an image from Flickr. But this is the easiest and it's consistent and it works across all sites that support the OMBID protocol. So now we save the content page and we go back to the smaller size and you can see that here comes the image. Now this, is, this image is loaded dynamically so it's not uh, necessarily there when the page uh, is itself loaded it loads after the after the text and the rest of the page loads which is good uh, because it doesn't tie up your your whole page from loading as well okay we can do the same um, with uh, let's add a page here and let's just put in some junk text now let's add a YouTube video to this page so over here we have a YouTube video which happens to be a YouTube video that was made for me by um, okay that's not the one uh, this is AJ Fenter speaking at the Digital Freedom Expo so let's use that again if we go up to the address bar you can see that there is a URL that references the video that we're looking at so we can go and we can copy that we go back to our our edit page and this is one which uses the opening and the closing pairs of tags 
And so the video goes between those two, with an opening and closing one at the beginning and an opening and closing one at the end. And what we're going to do is we're going to just simply type the words YouTube in both, a both of these. YouTube and slash YouTube. Um, I prefer to use the YouTube filter for the simple reason that YouTube is a bit unreliable when it comes to uh, OEmbed, and so you could do this with the Click Embed filter as well, but um, doesn't always work right, and sometimes the size of it comes out a little bit weird. Whereas the YouTube tag always produces a video that will fit within um, the uh, the space, the allocated space available. So we save that. And there's the video embedded in our page of content. So you can do this with all sorts of things. Let's add another page. And let's make this page about Linux. Um, the operating system Linux, which is what I'm using here. And let's go to Wikipedia. And again, in the address bar, you'll see that Wikipedia has a URL pointing to the content. So let's copy that. Let's go back to our page and type all about Linux and let's type quick embed colon paste to the Wikipedia URL and close the square bracket and save it and you can see it's loading and there it is there's the Wikipedia content about uh, Linux it's only loaded the, con the text content of the page but it has a link to the full content this is a very, very nice way to get content into your Chisimba uh, learning materials. And it works in everything. If you make a, a quiz, um, you can put content in this way. If you make a worksheet, you can put content in, in this way. If you send somebody a private internal email in Chisimba, you can put content in, in this way. If you're using a discussion forum, you can put content in, in this way. It works in almost all of the tools within Chisimba. Now, there's a whole lot of videos on YouTube about uh, the Chisimba filters. And so if you're watching this via YouTube, you can just look for those Chisimba filter videos. They're in my, um, uh, they're in my uh, channel. Uh, if you're watching this via my blog, uh, then you, you can uh, also go to YouTube and find them. If you're watching this via the e-learning demonstration course um, on elearn.kengasolutions.com, then those videos uh, will be sub-pages to this one. That's all for now. Thank you very much. Bye.